Hey Pirates, it's Thursday, March 23rd, and it's time to stop down for the daily announcements. I'm Dayton, and Pirate TV number 122 is coming up right after this. Please stand for the pledges. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now the Texas flag. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. Now a moment of silence. Well, well, you know, it's Thursday, March the 23rd. I'm Ian, and it's my turn to give you a little bit of history. According to History.com, it was March 23rd, 1983, that President Reagan first shared his interest in developing an anti-missile defense system to protect us from nuclear attacks. It was called the Strategic Defense Initiative, and some folks call it Star Wars. 1775, it was Patrick Henry's famous speech, you should have heard about it by now, I know not what course others may take, but as for me, give me liberty or give me death. And in 1839, it was okay. And what I mean the term okay became a part of our national vocabulary. Okay. When the Boston Morning Post published the letters okay as an abbreviation for a slang spelling of all correct. That's your history for today. And now let's take a look at today's announcements. Wow, people used to look so weird. I know, right? And some of these people grew up to be the teachers here at CHS. Mr. Strzok wants us to make a video featuring the senior year pictures of our current faculty and staff. That'll be a trip. I can't believe any of our teachers were ever young. So, teachers and staff, send your senior year picture to Mr. Strzok. Email it to jstruck at crenlow-isd.net. Hear ye, hear ye. Here's the latest from CHS. Tonight's the night. Crandall Boys Soccer in Greenville tonight for the playoff action against Paris. The game starts at 7.15, so come out and show your support. Attention AP students, your final payments are due Friday, April 21st. Be sure to get your payment in by that date so you will be able to take your exams. If you need to know how much you owe, go see Mr. Edmonds in the counseling office. All students, if you need to take the TSI exam so you can take dual credit classes this summer or next year, or if you need to retake one portion of the TSI, be sure to get your $15 to Ms. Hammond in the band hall by Friday, April 7th. If you have any questions or need to know which portions of the TSI you need to take, see your counselor as soon as possible. Attention juniors, the counselors will be in your English classes tomorrow or Friday to discuss choosing your classes for senior year. Make sure you are present so you can pick the classes you want and need. You will have one week to get your choice sheets back to your English teachers, so get ready for your senior year. Attention dual credit students, if you want to take a summer dual credit class, get to the counseling office as soon as possible for the required paperwork. Summer dual credit classes would include English, speech, government, economics, or BIM. Come see us soon because classes fill up pretty fast. Do you need to get ready to take the ACT? Well, the next all-day ACT prep class will be Wednesday, April 5th. The cost is $20 and lunch will be provided. There are limited seats available, so please sign up in the counselor's office. Seniors who have been in athletics, the Crandall Athletic Booster Club scholarships are now in the counseling office. They are due April 13th. Don't miss the deadline and pick them up as soon as possible. Seniors, there are two scholarships due tomorrow. They are the Scottish Rite and the Black and Gold. The Black and Gold needs to be done online. See the counseling office for more information. We cannot accept late applications, so be sure to meet the deadlines. Seniors, this is a reminder that the senior bus permission slip is due by Friday, March 31st, and that the $30 for Dave & Buster's senior trip is also due by Friday, March 31st. Turn money into the front office and the form to Miss Mitchell. The English 1 EOC is on Tuesday of next week, and the English 2 EOC is on Thursday of next week. Students who are testing will need to bring a sack lunch on those days. The Spanish department is still selling handwoven bracelets. Each bracelet is one of a kind work of art. They're only five bucks. Get yours in the cafeteria during all three lunches today and tomorrow. If you have lunch at Rains, you can buy them before or after school from Ms. Vasquez in room 110. The Life Skills class has a school supply store for your convenience, in case you're short on supplies. 
Check them out at the concession stand before school and during all three lunches on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Seniors, if you'd like to participate in the annual senior slideshow, you need to send your baby pic, a kid pic, and a current pic to Mr. Strzok, jstruck at crandallisd.net. Photos need to be at least 480 pixels in height. Deadline to submit your pics is Friday, April 28th. Be sure to put the student's name in the subject line of your email. Mr. Strzok will reply as confirmation that he received it. This just in. Blood drive will be Wednesday, April 5th. The sign-up sheet will be in Miss Hicks' room, room 223. If you intend to donate, please drink plenty of water and or non-caffeinated drinks. And eat plenty of iron and protein before the day of the blood drive. This has been fun. There you go, another exciting episode of the Pirate TV Daily Show. I'm Dayton and thank you for watching and supporting us.